I'll show you something real quick. This is a, uh, a rust lock uh, design. All right. Very interesting, very cool. This one happens to have the pocket clip on here and some jigged uh, green bone. I also have this one in smooth G10. I'll do reviews on this, or at least videos on the rust lock talking about it a little bit. I've been going back and forth carrying these. I wanna make a really quick video showing you the easiest way to open these. Because I've actually had people send me messages, at least three or four that I remember, you know, in the last two years or so, uh, saying that they got really into classic knives and, and case cutlery. And they got this knife and they, they couldn't find an easy way to open it. Um, there's a variety of ways you could open it. Uh, one of the ways is using this exposed tang here on clothing, you know, or any anything really. You push down, of course, you can rotate that and open all the way. The easiest way to open this and close it one-handed is just like this. Keep your, your uh, four fingers on the back of the knife, okay? Hold it down in your grip, okay? Instead of holding it like up here, hold it down deep in the grip. Hold this very tight against your palm, Take your thumb, now use your thumb to rotate that out. You're basically pushing up on this, okay, to open the blade. But when you do so, you have to do it in one swift motion because there's a, a heavy back spring on this to keep these shut so they don't open on accident. So give one good swift motion. When you can't move your thumb anymore, take your pointer finger and put it on the back of that tang and then pull down. Okay, you can do this and completely open it in one motion, which I'll show you in just one second. All right. Just like that. I'll show you again. And then of course how I close it. So you take it out of the pocket, push all the way down, point your finger up, just like so. All right, now these do have a liner lock on them. It's a fairly large uh, lock that protrudes out, so you can't miss it. To close this, it's also a little tricky again because we have that extension on the tang. So I put my three fingers on the back or side of the knife, depress the lock, Push this just a little bit, just so that it's off, you know, off its uh, uh, axis there, okay? So it's holding the lock. Then, of course, you move your thumb out of the way and use the, the top of it to come down. Now, it's a little difficult when you're first uh, closing these because when you try to push the blade back, obviously, this is lifting up against your middle finger, right? So there's, there's tension. You can't do it because your finger's in the way. So you naturally kind of lift your middle finger out of the way a little bit to make room for that. All right, and then you switch your grip to allow that, uh, that thumb to come up and then close that blade. All right, so one more time real quick. Use the thumb, and then when you can't move it anymore, use the pointer finger. It's open. You can use the knife any way you need to to press the lock. Again, you see my middle finger naturally lifts up with that because I don't want to block it from moving. All right, there you go. So that's how you open and close a case rust lock. It's a very, very cool knife. So you'll see videos on these in the future. Like I said, I've been carrying this one because it has a pocket clip, but I do think I prefer the Smooth G10. It's super sexy looking, very slick. It's definitely in the pocket knife though. That's it, thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Take care.